uh, years ago, I wrote, um, I wrote a song um, about an experience that I was having uh, when I was living in the mountains of East Tennessee, and uh, the Lord helped us. When I was living in East Tennessee many years ago, um, we, uh, uh, Beverly and I, we had just had Aaron, and Aaron was just a little boy, and uh, Beverly had some, some real health issues that was going on in her life, and we were, you know, basically we were living below the poverty level. Things weren't really going well for us as far as our finances were concerned. And then she had some very dire uh, health concerns that were going on in her life. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of, we hadn't seen them. And so I began to, uh, I began to, you know, just think, you know, what, what can I do? And, and I've always been an outdoorsy type of person, just get out and hike and get out and hunt fish. And, and where we were living in the mountains of East Tennessee, there was plenty of hiking to do, plenty of hunting and fishing to do. I didn't feel like shooting anything. I didn't feel like catching anything. So I loaded a backpack up and, and uh, I went to the mountains and uh, climbed up through uh, Cherokee National Forest. I went up above uh, above that, uh, that, that, top, that top called Miner's Mountain, Miner's Peak. And we went that way and then up through the forest, the Cherokee Forest, on to a little paved place that I really like to go called Max Patch. It's a beautiful spot. And uh, real, real mountainous terrain you can see forever, real steep places. And I happened to get up there and it was just beautiful. And uh, huckleberries were on the vines and it's just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And uh, there I was uh, sitting with my legs hanging off the edge of one of those precipices on those mountains there uh, in the Appalachian mountain chain that run right through the county that I lived in and I was sitting there enjoying myself, I was having a good time and uh, just uh, just you know trying to get my mind straight and uh, then I, I looked up and all of a sudden I began to see this eagle. I'd never seen an eagle there before. I'd seen any other birds there, and I'd seen eagles down lower, but I had never seen an eagle um, in that particular place. And I began to watch that eagle, and I was enjoying it. It was, I mean, he was just beautiful. She, whichever one it was, it was just a beautiful bird. And uh, they were, that bird was catching wind, and uh, then it would dive, and then it would come back up. And from where I was, I was several thousand feet up. You know, on this mountain, and so I was able to look out and see that bird high in the air. And so, as I began to look at that bird high, high in the air, I began to think of, you know, this is a, this is just beautiful. God's creation is beautiful. That started to help my heart some. And then I looked up, and this this cloud rolled across the mountain and started thundering, and lightning, and raining. And before I knew it, uh, I was being rained on. Lightning was flashing below me, believe that or not, and it was just unbelievable. And I thought to myself, I thought, now here I am, I'm starting to get just a little bit of help. I'm getting just, uh, just a little help, not much, but I'm getting a little help. And then all of a sudden, this cloud has to roll in, and this cloud has to ruin everything that I'm trying to watch. And then all of a sudden, I watched that eagle, and that eagle made a dive, and he caught a gust of wind. And when he caught a gust of wind, he sailed above that cloud. And while I was looking there, I was thinking, I said, my soul, look at that. What God's trying to teach me is if I'll catch the wind that he has for me, yes. that's blowing there, he will carry me above, absolutely carry me above every storm that enters into my Ain't that good? That's good. And uh, while I was sitting there, the rain began to slack off, and I had a notebook in my backpack. I pulled it out, and I started jotting down verses to this song. And uh, I didn't, I'm not a songwriter, really. I've written a few. But uh, this was, to me, personally, my eagle song. And I just loved it so much. And uh, several of you have asked me if I would sing it, and our time's got to buy with us. And, and uh, so this is the, this will be the last service. And I promise the folks that I will sing it. And so, Bradley, you did that what, the long introduction of that song was really worked on. Um, yeah. Okay. Amen. This is what the eagles sing to me.